one is to clean the surfaces completely. Okay. And that's going to mean using not just a damp rag, but probably also um, some kind of solvent, acetone or alcohol. The acetone is pretty good on gel coat. You don't want to use it on fresh gel coat though. But um, on this kind of gel coat, it works really good and fast to remove goo and stains and things like that. So cleanliness first, then the fr next step is going to be whatever kind of rubbing compound you're going to use, which the rubbing compound could be called that, or number one of the weather block uh, and weather seal system is basically a rubbing compound to go through and cut through the surface oxidation on the uh, gel coat as well as to uh, smooth out imperfections, things like that a little bit, and then it's going to be minor stuff. Um, the next step is to basically put sunscreen on the glider, which is uh, the product that you put on last, and that's going to be the weather block number two system. And this particular system uh, is going to provide UV protection plus fill up the pores and just seal up the, uh, seal up the gel coat on the aircraft. Um, so again, at the time it comes to cleaning off, again, use, try and use fresh rags pretty regularly because your rags will load up with the material. And uh, so anyway, we're going to want to always try to load up the rag, go to a clean surface, and then go back over it once more to make sure it's clean. Uh, grooves or areas like uh, uh, junctions between control surfaces you can just use a corner of the rag and tuck it in there and slide it along there to remove any excess product to clean it off. If those gel coat chips have an edge to them that are going to be likely hooked, just don't even touch it with this machine. Uh, if you have to have somebody come back through and do it by hand, that's fine. On your towels, will that excess material shake off and you can reuse it or just keep always use it clean surface? Well, no, you can shake yeah, it out yeah. to the extent you can, but you'll find that they'll end up pretty well loaded up. But just kind of use your judgment on it. I mean, if your rag quits picking up the stuff, Are you applying any pressure yourself or are you just letting the uh, machine rest? No, just letting the machine do the work. Okay. Well, you see there's some bugs on here that somebody didn't get cleaned off. But uh, this will take those off, but again, it's uh, less desirable than cleaning it first. Scott, what did you do to mess up on yours? Just linger too long in one spot and burn it? No, I've caught it on things. Oh, caught it on edges. Okay. And I've uh, and I've had the cord where I had it over the fuselage and I was doing something on the tail. I hooked it around that thing and it sucked me in. And I, it, I mean, it was disaster. Was just. A, so is there a list of who's doing what or what job you Well, I'm pretty much everybody. I'm waxing until we get it done. Okay. And if you have enough waxers, then other jobs are basically clean the shacks out. Okay. So I didn't sign up for anything in particular. I wasn't yeah. sure what so my schedule was. was or is it now. Well, I'm waxing. Good <laughs> enough. I waxed in the past. Well, we, in, the, in the past, we've just waxed these waxers. Uh, having used all the different steps. Okay, so again, now when I'm going to start this up, you can see the direction it wants to rotate. Ha! Gotcha! Got me right here. Sorry, Paul, <laughs> but you're going to get a lot more on you before you're done. Um, anyway, uh, what I'm going to try and do here is to make sure that the um, 
that this is running away from the edges I could snag, either the trailing edge of the uh, aileron or the, this trailing edge of the uh, gel coat here at the joint. So I'm going to make sure I run it in that direction. You want the ailerons all the way down. And you want the ailerons down, good point. You just have it on one then? Sound like it's bent? Yes. How long uh, do you let that uh, dry before you wipe it off? That, the first part I did should be dry now. Okay. But again, you can tell pretty well if it's uh, set up. Um, so you can just kind of use your eyeball. See how I changed directions there? I changed the edges so that I'd be running up off of the, off the trailing edge rather than onto it. Order, so we know where we start or just well my ticket my way of doing it is always to break at yeah. some feature it's yeah. just a yeah, simple just way to do that yeah. so from here maybe work down to the spar box uh, or excuse me the uh, break box so okay hey Bob you have adder <laughs> Bob, so quick question, um, in other demonstrations, was there um, a need for like certain temperatures, like some say don't do it when it's too hot, other things like that? You know, I would just have to read the instructions of the product. Um, certainly okay. what we have today here where it's going to be, you know, in the 50s or low 60s, uh, it's perfect temperature to do this job. Okay. All right. Thank you. This is Ed. I'm about ready to apply number two. Weather block number two. So, per manufacturer instructions, <laughs> thin coat goes on, non synthetic rag, and let, let it dry and wipe it off. Pretty basic. They also say here that if you put a little extra on the leading edge, it'll keep, help keep bugs from sticking and can be used after flight for cleaning. And this is after we've wiped off coat number one. Oh, yes, shake well. And shake well. And we are told you basically just apply it and then you just let it dry and then you go back up and clean it up after that. Now only $9.99. But that's not <laughs> all. Order today. These two reds. And then what we'll do is we'll take off the wings and do the undersides. As you can see, we've taken off the elevator. We're doing that. And they're still applying 